Hey everybody, Asher here, and today we are actually playing more Dyson Sphere program, which is a surprise, I know, but this is progressing into the late game, and you can see some little blue specks kind of around the sun here. That's because we are actually starting to go in progress with building the Dyson Sphere, but there's a small problem. That problem, well, there's a bunch of problems that we'll get into a lot of those here. This is a Twitch VOD, Twitch stream. If you're looking for a more detailed, succinct guide for how to build a Dyson Sphere, it's coming. I'm going to go over the stream here. A lot of pitfalls about what I've kind of done wrong, some of the bad moves I've made. One of them making my sphere really way too wide. It should be about maybe half this diameter. But it'll be pretty and gargantuan when it's done. It's going to be a while before it's done. But you can see that we have our spaghetti village over here and everything is awful. I guess it's not that bad. You see all the glowing red light at night. That's because it's all red all ahead. And you can, I just, I'm just giving you the brief tour here just so you can kind of get the context for what's going on here. You can see that three of my researches are going very well and one of my researches is down to a trickle here. And one thing that I did not realize going into building the Dyson Sphere is that I need this specific tech, Dyson Sphere Stress System. If you see the same icon up here, it's because it is a repeatable tech. And you can see the problem that I have right now is that I need 2,000 green research per go, and my green research production is lacking. So let's take a look at that. You're going to see a lot of oil refineries around here. There's a really, really good reason for that. Um, I've actually run into a few different backlogs. It's a little weird, but you can see that this is, well, we got two things going on here. First off, here's my green research area. It's, uh, it's doing all right. I mean, we have our particle accelerators. They're trying to accelerate deuterium as fast as possible, although the influx of that is not quite as fast as it used to be, but it is coming. But then we also have... Um, the other issue, like I said, I'm trying, and I've even got some green belts starting to go to make this a little bit faster. I have three of these accelerators, but I'm really only getting output from one, maybe two sometimes. So those are layout issues that maybe I can fix next time. But if we look over here real quick, you can just see that this is the green science, as it turns out. There's, there's always like some backlog that I'm having to push back here, and you can see the backlog here is pretty hard. I have a lot of these lenses. And these lenses are super happy. I'm able to make a bunch of them. It's great. Uh, the other product that you need, though, for making this, though, is a quantum chip, which you can see I'm starting, just barely starting to get a little bit of a surplus of. But if we look at our quantum chip production, I did start to have it over here, but asking around on Reddit and the Discord and everything, it's really just a matter of I need things to be bigger. So I made something that was slightly more organized here. I will go ahead and just, because it's here, we'll just press F11, take an actual picture of the production. It looks pretty. There is a shortfall though. Um, these things eat a ton of hydrogen. You need 12 hydrogen per. So where originally my uh, downfall was optical grading crystals, and I did a lot of back and forth from a planet to get those things in. Now we have them getting shipped in constantly. The problem we have is that we have a bunch of those, but we need those crystals to make glass. And you can see titanium glass is slow, especially if you don't have the required materials. And for some reason, I can't even, I, I guess we got rid of the sorter there. This is why we constantly check logistics. So like this, this material really easy to come by. It's just, it's just always the one thing. And right now, strangely enough, it's hydrogen, hydrogen that's holding me back. So I thought for a while when I was making this video, it's like, well, I'm going to have to go to uh, another planet to put some off-world CPU production on. And I still might need to because Lord knows I have a bunch of CPUs just sitting around, but I got to solve the hydrogen problem first because these quantum chips, let me just go back up here. I know I could fly, but I want to walk over here. These quantum chips are needed not just for the final science, they're also needed for the final goal of the game, which is going to be our goal to get this here today, which is to make small carrier rockets. Now the really nice thing about small carrier rockets is once again our bottleneck is quantum chips. 
so this is this is exciting is that we have these little things here and I'm just building up just so that you can get a nice little laser light show yes I did finally upgrade my tech here to get these solar power range extenders they're really nice but uh you know what I kinda messed this up a little bit so we are just gonna move this yeah I guess technically what I can do is just move this down here. See, this is great. I don't have I don't have very exciting plants. I know I could do the fast sorters here, but we'll do the slow sorters for a dramatic effect. So all we're going to do is just pass these along over here. You see I have a lot of drones and they're doing really well, but let's just go ahead and look. These are vertical launching silos. You need these to actually launch rockets up into space. Which if you've ever needs, never seen this before, you, that tiny box is going to break uh, conservation of mass and suddenly it's up in the air. And all these things are just going to be firing up in the air. Now I don't have a ton and every single one of those rockets counts for points. Which if you check on here you can see right now our Dyson Sphere uh, total structure of points is 2520. That's, that's a lot. I haven't launched a lot of things up here, but let's just look at the maybe the more important thing. You can press Y for this shortcut, but we have our planner. And what I was referring to before with the tech is that there's a repeatable tech you need to get. If I want to build frames up here right now, I can't. And I need to research it multiple times so I can get 15 more degrees on here. Now if there is a way that I can actually adjust and make this smaller, outside of just the first time I do it, uh, I'd love to know because I'm going to be making a gargantuan sphere and that's just the way it's going to be. But eventually what I'm going to be able to do is to take this frame, place these, or I can do geodisc or graticle grids, whichever I decide to do, and then build a shell. I can't, I can't build a shell really right now. I can build kind of the areas in between, but that'll that'll come. And then these uh, Dyson Swarm things that are still getting shot at so nicely by another planet here, well, eventually those things will start getting shot into the Dyson Ring sphere eventually. So we have this production trying to do its best. I'm going to leave it running right now because, as you can see, our hydrogen, it's coming through slow. I tried to put a faster belt to make it go faster. But, you know, we're, start, we're starting to get up to maybe hitting the fourth crystal, so we're close. Um, what I was finding myself getting bottlenecked more and more was with the assembling machines for the uh, plane filter. This just takes a really long time to build. But you can see I just have everything kind of snake through. It's not perfect. I kind of eyeballed everything, but we'll make it work. So... If we need hydrogen, the best, most efficient way I've found to produce hydrogen, at least on this planet, if I can get the right freaking key here, is we want to get crude oil sources and lots of crude oil sources. Fortunately, we have plenty of them, and unlike other things in this game and this save, as you can see, our resources are starting to dwindle pretty hard. Probably by the time to finish the Dyson Sphere, I'm going to need to get uh, stuff off from other planets. But you can see we have some we have some very very suitable um, oil oil refinery things, and I half wonder if maybe I should just do a planetary thing instead of messing around and spaghettiing everywhere. One thing I could do is just I think this tower's full, but I think I can use one of my logistics towers to um, make this work. Now, one of the things that I was running into as well is that. My uh, chip production here was actually getting backlogged with silicon, which I have a good planet for that. And it's not this part that's getting backlogged, it's um, a little bit further back. But regardless, we, we actually don't have any silicon right there, so I imagine that backlog still exists. So hooray, we're going to go to another planet and build a logistic system there. Um, can I build any more towers right now is my other question. I'm pretty sure... yeah, I can get those resources, so yeah, let me build... Let me build a few buddies here before we get going because I don't just want to mess up everything with a bunch of oil and make it all messy. I want to go over here and um, I really just want to feed hydrogen into my system that I need. There's, there's two different hydrogen systems right now. 
and the one I want to feed it into is these crystals. So I am going to show you real quick. First off, bonus time, we are going to make another logistics tower. Now I could be pulling out from this, but you can see uh, the magic number I found is five. It might be bigger depending on the output, but one, one thing, or I'm sorry, but I want to be able to pull enough oil to where uh, one refinery, I'm not just getting backlog on the oil. But if I actually do the plan I'm thinking of, um, if I'm shipping oil directly to a tower here, I wonder if that's going to be problematic. I guess, you know, we can just experiment and find out. I mean, right now, could totally drop some more refineries down here, which begs the awkward question, am I going to be able to build refineries or am I going to get more actual iron, actual copper. That's that's a little annoying, but that's what I get for talking here. So coal. Like we do have we do have refineries here, and you see that I'm not cracking my resources anymore. That is so freaking bright. Um, but unfortunately my earliest uh, iron sources are starting to fail me. So getting raw iron ore is a little bit of a hike. As you can see, we have the spaghetti of the century as I fly through my base. You can see where I've gotten a little more experience, gotten better. Best laid plans for uh, the next playthrough. I'm just going to get some raw iron. What am I even doing with that again? Uh, I think I was going to build some oil refineries. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, it's nice that still, regardless of everything else that's going on, I still need oil. Okay. Now this is this is where it gets a little bit fun because sometimes the game still gets very irritated with me about why can't we build things? Like if I want to build a building, we can't build an oil extractor because we don't have a plasma exciter. I guess it's because I don't have a lot of glass, but I can. I can build some glass because I have stone. So I actually need to pick up some more stone, which is great because I just passed over my little stone keepsake. Alright. Well, let me do a refinery. Ooh. Oil extractor. There we go. Let's build two. Let's build four refineries because it's going to say again. I'm not short on stone, I'm short on iron. But all I'm trying to do here first is just raise up the uh, hydrogen count. Which is funny because over here I'm actually burning excess hydrogen when I get it. That's probably not the best plan, but this whole thing is this whole thing is backed up right now. Like I don't have any use for this graphene, so it's a little a little annoying, but something that I'm not too bothered to fix right now. So there's a lot of lessons that I've learned from playing through this all the way through that I can apply to a next save. I guess one of my questions is I'm, is I'm going to do am I going to do that save? sooner or later. So we will get to the interplanetary travel, but first we have to get to the happy little oil refineries. Can I build more? I need lots. I have I have so much building going on. Alright, so that's my oil extractors first. Hmm. Now I had some areas where oil was pretty close, like here and over here. And if we look over here, we still have a lot of uh, oil doing its thing. Now you can see as well that I've already gotten a little smarter since the uh, early days of playing this game, where I now understand that you can actually... Well, it's not going to work too well, but... You can actually filter out where your stuff is coming from. I'll show you that right now. So, refineries where you don't have any refineries built yet because we got like a bunch of crafting to do. So auto saves fun, we'll do that later. So one of these is good, one of these is kind of, wow, it's actually one of the worst ones I've seen. Anyway, one of these is good, two of these is good. 
Okay. This is this is the spot. All right. So all I'm going to do is uh, totally wreck my power structure, get over it. We'll put a band-aid to um connect these things. Wow, it's not wanting to connect the boat. That's weird. All right, well. Did I actually I didn't disconnect my whole like worldwide thing though, so that's funny. Anyway, um and I know I still like click this stuff all the time, but we have an oil seep here. We have an oil seep here. And you know, I was originally thinking I could just send the oil in, but I think if I can get enough oil production here, I can end up doing my uh, refineries. Is that is we got we got plenty of time. So one of the um, annoying things about solar panels is that they have no power reach. You gotta like artificially throw it in there. But anyway, if you've never seen how oil gets done in this game before, you're about to do some buck learning. Sorry, the uh, southern comes out sometimes. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna have our um, our oil flow here. Yeah, I think that's how I'll do it. I can just put my oil flow actually right right here, and then we'll run our other oil over here because I'm trying to take advantage of uh, how fast the oil is going to be coming out, so I don't just want to do it all on uh, one thing. If that makes any sense at all. Yeah, we need we still need our solar panels. We just don't need them as much. All right. So we'll be using our faster things today, maybe. It's gonna look a little ugly at first, but we will we will make it nice and pretty before too long. So here's our two spots of oil. As I love how fast these drones build now. I'm trying to kill time here while I have how many freaking refineries building? Um, can we build more? No, not really. Okay, well, what are we short on? Mm, I guess it's iron again. All right. So where am I on the map? Pretty sure I'm pretty much away from everything. It's nice that my planet, as spaghettified as it is, is still kind of overtaking the whole world here. So, all right. So we know we're here. And there's another crude oil place up there. But actually, I can just follow the solar panels pretty well. But you can see our research is trying to go. We're halfway through. I just need to get some more hydrogen to make this go worlds faster. Alright, so we're actually, these veins are getting low, but I can move and hit some stuff that I didn't get yet. But yeah, what I should be doing, and I'll fix this pretty much right now, is, um, should just put a storage box down here like right there and just go ahead and have a place for um, this stuff to live now how's this doing on power output not awesome but does it really matter no so there now I know follow the solar panels I'll get some more um, this stuff can we build more? We need to build some of these. Let's get 10 of these. We're going to need these for our tower. And then can we build any more uh, refineries? Still no. Uh, maybe, it maybe I do need stone. I'm so used to being able to hold down shift. It's kind of funny to be able to just fly and be like, hey, wait a minute. Now, if I were doing this in a future playthrough, one thing that I would absolutely be doing right now is uh, having my little resource areas all in the same place instead of flying over everywhere for it. So that's a uh, first playthrough mistake that, um, oh boy, actually low on steel. Well, surely we'll be able to do our refinery stuff in just a, just a minute. It's like, how many minutes have I been streaming? This is, this is just kind of the name of the game to a point is... Um, 
How many times can we screw up? I think that's going to be enough refineries. So let's just follow this back down here. We're just building across the planet. As once again, Gash Giant looks really good. But at this point, I'm literally playing whack-a-mole with the resources I have available. Including this. So we're building on the dark side of the planet. That's fun. They did give a flashlight in one of the updates, so that's nice. But you can see um, straight lines are not always my forte. Alright, so oil refinery. There are two ways we can do this. We're going to do this the fun way. So let's put this on the outside. I know technically putting everything on the inside is better, but uh, we're going we're gonna to play dumb. So one, two, lack of item, okay. We can just plan this now. Okay, what my what my stupid plan is here is the following. You can stack your stuff up. All I want to do with my stack is put this crap in the bottom and literally destroy it. I have way too much oil. I do not need more oil. So all we're going to do here, we are literally, like, we could do x-ray cracking. It does technically produce more hydrogen, but it adds an extra step that I don't really feel like dealing with. So maybe, like, I'd need to actually insert oil into it. And maybe that would be a better way to do it, but for being at the end of the game, it's like, I'm the lazy person making a Dyson Sphere. But anyway, what we have, that's very exciting, one of the best tips I got from seeing somebody else play the game, is um, this. We're just going to drop this over here, and we're going to drop this one over here, for no fantastic reason. Um, but once you put your little logistics nodes out here, you press tab, it filters. Press tab, it filters. So that means that you can pick and choose what resource you want to go out of which one. So what happens when I uh, just fly through the menu really hard and fast and I know nothing is powered right now and everything's on fire. I pass the time somehow while crafting. Once again, just tab and go, tab and go. Like I said, we're trying to build a Dyson Sphere, but we are having to deal with um, fossil fuels. That's just the fun of the game, isn't it? All right, so. And we are building three more, so. Looks like I'm gonna have to kind of dip these around just a little bit further. Which is just fine. We have the faster belt. Not the fastest belts, but the faster belts. How many do I have up here? One, two, three, four. Cool. So that'll be enough. That won't be that won't do though. Alright. I'm trying not to uh make I'm not I'm trying not to make too much pasta just a little bit's fine as once again my plan is to turn all of this into a bunch of hydrogen that I'm getting that I'm gonna be sending back but old old habits die hard all right still working on it okay let's launch some power stations can I power the whole thing pretty sure I can all right, bloop. This is so nice. 
Why did I not think to upgrade those before? All right. So we're going to get backed up here real fast. But I mean, someone's going to go in the comments and say you should be cracking oil, and maybe you're right. That'd be a... What? You guys aren't even going in there. I guess I forgot to... Um, this, this gets buggy like this sometimes. Especially if you're adding an, a belt to an already existing belt. See, now it's fine. Just early access things, nothing game breaking. It's just crap that happens. But yeah, there may be a better way to do this with cracking oil. It would technically net me... Well, you know, now that I think about it. Since you constantly have to cycle hydrogen to get more hydrogen, I'm not 100% sure it's better, but it might be better, so I'm happy to get corrected on that. Alright. Almost, almost there. Let's not screw up the easy part. Needs a valid connection. I bet you do. Alright. So a lot of these things aren't going to be able to dump yet, that's fine. And I will have to babysit this setup some. Really? This gets this gets fun when I'm trying to do this through like the power station. Alright, that's fine. And I don't mind having some eyes and ears checking over me later, because sometimes this does mess up a little bit. So, more refineries. I'll save one, because I have a feeling I'll need it later. Oh, someone's going to be mad at me for turning these around. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, if we look here, it takes one hydrogen, or it takes two hydrogen and produces three. Whereas this one automatically produces uh, one. But I'll, sa I'll save that other one for a rainy day. I saw a few candidates for um, dropping the odd um, refinery down there. Did I just pollute that? Yes, I did. Okay. Now we can store hydrogen in here, but you see what that did? This is why we don't want to mess this up, if at all possible. You can see I got the hydrogen back. It's kind of good I made that mistake. It was totally unintentional, but... You want to definitely watch your tabs. All right. Almost there. Yeah, this is pure, unadulterated resource management. The kind that they tell you about on the internet. But let's um let's have a little bit of fun and drop a friggin' tower. Planetary logistics is all we need. And we are gonna say as it needs to charge up, you're gonna see our power charge graph go a little crazy. I'm producing a lot of power. Not much of that power is coming from the uh, Dyson Sphere right now. It's only generating 14 megawatts. All right, so what you do for this is you set hydrogen. Right now it is supplying hydrogen, which is good. I'm pretty sure I can get the resources to make another one of these in just a minute if I need to. But still, you need to actually supply it with hydrogen. So let's not go through the happy... Oh, we killed the happy little tree anyway. I blame the drones for that. Okay, sometimes the angles for this get funny, so... A little more spaghetti. And then right here, you can see we can store up to 5,000. Um, I meant to build little craft. These will be the guys' logistics drones. For interplanetary, it's the shuttles. But the little drones will be the ones that carry this hydrogen halfway across the planet and we want to put a bunch of them in there so that we get a constant stream because they've got they've kind of got a good ways to go 
Um, I can only make one. What am I short on? Probably thrusters. And it's not going to let me build more till later. Do I? Am I out of iron? Ha! Huh, I'm actually out of iron. We can fix that in just a minute. Because as stupid as some of my other logistics are, I do have a lot of places where I can just snag some iron plates off a smelter. Once again, probably better to have a mall, as people call it, or things like this where I can just grab a resource. What's the other one I need? I think they're up here. You can always grab them off the belt, too. Let's see right here. This one's starting to fill up. But this can hold 10,000, which is a lot more than boxes. Um, Alright. So you guys are just going to do this. I swear I have a box of this somewhere. Oh well. We'll do this the fun way. And if you click enough times, you can just pull them off the belt. That's one way to solve a backlog. Oh, well, hey, uh, how are you doing? Yes, this is, this is my starter planet. It is a mess. This is not the only planet I've been to, though. Um, there's some resources you have to get from other planets. I'm going to be making a stop at one of them in just a minute, but of course I'm spending the first like 30 minutes of this video having fun with fossil fuels. So do we have... we need... we do need that graphene. Okay. And um, this tower... those those aren't towers, those are just really big structures. Um, but yeah, I'm launching things into space occasionally. I'm trying to send research over occasionally. Oh god, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get the uh I don't know, what kind of pasta sauce do you like? I'm uh I don't know exactly what I'm partial to here, but this is hydrogen, right? This is what we want. So we don't have to go all one hundred percent noodle. Maybe like ninety five percent noodle. Okay. Let's fabricate some more drones while we're here, because we need a lot of these. Alright. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll just show you just while you're here, just the planet real quick. It's um it is a spaghettified disaster. But the one important number I want you to pay attention to is that my iron and copper are getting lower and lower as time goes by. But anyway, what we're doing for hydrogen here, we have one place that is uh, supply. We're going to change this to demand and then magically, with the power of drones and the power of charging things up, we're going to be starting to get a lot more hydrogen pulled in here. They're going to have to travel halfway across the planet for it, but still important because I don't have a lot of... Um, this other stuff yet, but I need this because you can see my research is constantly stopping. So fixing the hydrogen blockage is at the least as we tab to make sure this goes correctly. Um, fixing the hydrogen blockage, if nothing else, will... Um... Can I can I sneak around this? Love it if I could. I don't think I can. Ah, uh, so close. Alright. All right, just add that to the belt. It automatically does it. And that's fast belt onto a slow belt. Not awkward at all. I think what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and replace all this with the faster belt. I went through most of this game doing the slow belt, the red belt. I shouldn't have done that. And hopefully it's not going to bug out and it'll let me do this. There we go. So everything's moving according to plan. Except for this sad supply here. But now, now I get to see. I'm expecting to still be CPU backlogged. But look at this. 
all the hydrogen. Even this one's getting supplied now. Which means it's possible I can make even more. I did have another setup down here. If this can feed all of these and I actually start to get a hydrogen backup, I can totally set up and do another chip set here. But now you can see this stuff is uh, going all the way over here. It just needs a little bit to get started. But as I was saying earlier, this is uh, something where I have this, this production is really slow. And it's going towards two places right now. One is my green research. And one is rocket shuttle launches. Although it may be a good idea for the time being for me to uh, technically switch out and do something other, or stop the traveling to the rocket launches because it's more important that I get to being able to get the next row here because right now I have a tiny little Dyson ring. You know what? Let's go fly to it. I think this is, um, the. You know, have I played Factorio Satisfactory? I played Factorio, but it never really caught my imagination like this did, and I did not play Satisfactory because first-person games, with very few exceptions, uh, give me very bad nausea. So let's go to, yeah, you know what, let's, let's just do a little flyby. If, did I get enough to build another, um, okay, I'm hitting the wrong hotkeys here. It'd be really silly if I went to my uh, planet I meant to without the required materials here. All right, and do we have enough for a miner? No, see, this is this is why I check. So we need just plates for that. So we need stupid, we need stupid this stuff. There's much better ways to be organized about it than this. So you can see that's that's where my inexperience shines through pretty hard. Like I'm just carrying around 225 copper for no reason. So you said you picked it up. How are how is your game going? Let's see. Did we did we actually get the stuff to build a miner? This is one of the things where if if, if I could play again, I'm going to make a production thing that builds miners for me. But let's go ahead and Let's look at what's going on here in space. Like, I am totally flying away from where I need to be going, which is that planet. But I kind of want to take a look at this first. Because one thing that's really cool about this game is being able to see this stuff Oh boy. Anyway, there it is. I meant to take a screenshot of it. Maybe we'll do a happy little turn in just a second, but that's not that's not the way. I forgot I was facing backwards. But yeah, still still the whole thing here is very pretty. I just don't know how to fly. That's not really the angle I wanted, but it's the angle it's the angle we're getting. <laughs> okay. One more flyby. Like I said, this is this is something that popped up on Reddit recently, but yeah, this is all this is all modeled. Which is uh, pretty cool. That's also not the angle I wanted. It's also not the angle I wanted. I'm a terrible photographer. Absolutely awful. That's all right. Okay. I'll be honest with you. It took me about maybe, maybe like five minutes of watching someone else's preview video. I was like, nope, sold. For this price, um, yes, yes, please. And I'm not usually like that. Okay, I am low on energy. And part of that's because I have very shit energy regeneration. I actually need to get some more uh, deuterium fuel rods, so I need to be careful with that. Can I craft any? That'd be really nice. Nope. And I can't make that in a replicator either, so I gotta be careful. I gotta keep an eye on that. 
So anyway, the reason we are going here, I can actually point myself in the right direction, is because this planet, which is um, the first one that I went to, it doesn't have a lot of copper. It does have a lot of titanium and it does have sufficient silicon, which is a little different than this place, which has some silicon and a bunch of titanium. And you can see the happy little pew pew blasters firing from there. I do have a nice array on, of uh, rail guns on a lava planet, but this is um, this is a good supply planet as we just crash into it at 2,000 meters per second with uh, no detected problems. What's in here? Liquid capacity. That's all hydrogen. Okay, this is this is where we're setting up. This is where we are setting up for sure. Okay, can I build a big tower? I can, good. Can I build another little tower? No, I can't, that's fine. Because there's two things that I need to do here and one of them is gonna be here. Because we, frankly, just need even more hydrogen and even more um, other materials. Do I have a... Uh, be really nice if I had silicon near here. And I do. Excellent. All right. Let's get to for. I was meaning to drop the big tower here, so if I can get my hotkeys right. Let's drop a big tower. And put a little dinky power pole up to it because that makes sense. Um, did I not build any um, planetary logistics sh shuttles? No, I didn't. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Um, it's a pretty short flight, though. So mining. I should know these. I should know these keys by now. Press Shift and hold R, and it'll spin like this. It's really nice. It's a tip that I have only seen one YouTube person or Reddit person bring up, and as someone with very few subscribers. Hey, Bear, hope you're doing good. Um, that's that's okay placement. I have to go back to the home planet anyway. Really? Um. Silicon ore, local supply, remote supply. That's kind of what we want. So I do need power here. All right, that's fine. More important one though is the hydrogen. I knew I had like a bunch of hydrogen sitting around somewhere. Oh, I'm actually doing horrible right now, um, but I'm playing this, so that's fine. Um, trying to just do just some things to uh, listen to some cool music and maybe throw shit at a star some more. Alright. Oh god. Did this again. Happy little drones. Look at all that hydrogen. And suddenly we're not backlogged anymore. Wow, look at it go. Just for fun, let's drop some more storage tanks on top of here because I have that research. How fast is this draining? Wow, that's like, that's minuscule. Awesome. Okay. You know, one of the questions I really have here, to be honest. Do I have smelters? Can I build smelters? No. Alright. Because what I need to be doing here... I'm just going to fix all this now. Is, um... I need to be smelting this ore. I'm just going ahead and sending it as plates is all I really need, so... 
Let's clear this. No, well, yes, people are dead, but that's that's another story for another time and not something I'm going to go into. Um, yeah, just things are going pretty awful. So, like, hopefully I'll be okay, but I don't know yet. So what are we doing? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. And as always, thank you for being here and being supportive. All right. So we're going a lot faster than I meant to. Um, what's my goal again? I need to get some smelters because I need to be smelting that ore the transported over here. And I need to make sure I have a big tower available that's actually asking for silicon plates because I have backlog issues. And it's not just the toilet. Although, honestly, toilet's been behaving nicely except for a small water leak that I've had to fix that was going on for way too long. Fortunately, it didn't get in the floor. It was just a leak into the bowl. Um, I would check my research, but that's really dangerous when I'm about to miss a planet. So, three, two, one, and crash. Nice. Okay, well, this is um, as good as any. And they have most of their warpers. So high security, silicon, um, remote demand. So we want that still. And we'll supply it locally, and we will put a few more... I know I can build these carriers. So we'll put ten more in here. So where's our stupid silicon demand at? Not there. Maybe here? I mean, all I want to do is just feed it into my um, line right here. So we're going we're gonna to take this pasta and we're going to make it even better. All right, so local... We're going to supply, demand, it's all it's all economics at this point. I need to get some more belts here in just a minute. And filter for this. Oh god. Bloop! And where can I connect you? Okay, we don't want to connect you there because that one is well supplied. Where's our where's our uh, silicon shortfall at today? Um, where's my stupid CPU center? Because I I was originally saying I need to build CPUs off planet. And it seems like I might, but a pretty sizable surplus still. So maybe I'll be okay. That's um, that's definitely something to keep an eye out for because I have I have a bunch being made, but I can always make more. But hopefully, because right now I'm only getting one drop off of silicon from here. Yes, this is this is my terrible base. And it's only going through this way and it's getting halfway split into a place that's fine. Um ooh. Ooh. Tinnitus just hit me real hard. That's um I hope that's not coming through on the other side cuz that um Yeah, that's definitely just in my ear. That might be some of the worst tinnitus I've ever had in my life. Um fun. What other new misadventures will we have? Okay, that's not what we want. You hear nothing. Well, you can hear my voice. Uh, let's see. This, I guess the better words. I hear nothing important. You know what I really love about this? Is that this is silicon plates that I'm going to be dropping right next to silicon plates. 
That's, um... This is how we do it, I guess. And then it'll just drop in right there. Yeah, no, and here's the thing that really pisses me off about it, is that I damaged my hearing when I was six. Like, I never had a chance to know better. My parents just insisted on listening to music I hated um, on long drives, and they were just like, just turn up your Walkman. So I listened to it on max uh, for four to six hour road trips for years. It wasn't until later that I learned that the constant ringing in my ear was not normal. So let's see, uh, smelters. Um, how's our hydrogen doing? That was one of the big things I was having to deal with before. Okay, that's okay. That's probably not okay. Um, do we just have any iron plates or magnets available? That'd be nice. I said I shouldn't be stealing from my own supply stash like this, but it's so easy. Um, shit. Oh god, that's a miner. That's a smelter. Cool. Um... This is, this is just Asher Click Simulator 2021 or whatever. I still can't make that. What am I missing? Looks like I'm just missing more iron. Okay, I need to... Um... I really don't have a box of those. I do. There we go. Alright, I don't gotta worry about that. By the way, how is, uh... They have 48 of those, so that's really nice. So local supply, remote demand. Um... Sort button, very good. So how many logistics vessels can I make? Not a lot yet. All right. So I'll check my hydrogen supply in just a minute because I have um, I've done some dumb things. Like this over here is pretty dumb. You know, it's funny as I never set that hydrogen for arriving. I don't think it can yet anyway, but I need to remember to do that. All right, nothing's backed up here. That's excellent. Um, I hate saying this, but what was I doing over here? It's like the story of this game to a point is you're just constantly like, what was I doing? It seemed pretty important at the time. I'm sure it'll come back to me. I was probably looking for iron. Well, this is, this is part of the fun of these kind of logistics games, isn't it? It's just that you're um, in a constant state of, I have 30 things to do. Like, I have this research that's going anywhere from, it's only going to take 30 minutes to research, and you're also not making any research progress at all. I guess I could be smelting over here and putting it in a box as well. That would be best practice, wouldn't it? All right. Go ahead and develop these good habits for a future save. If this game doesn't kill me first. Oh yeah, they call that game outside. I've heard it's uh, due for a few patch updates. I mean, that's not normal. I don't just go around and be like, huh, what? Right on. All right, all right, all right. 
I just, I, I literally just turn into a far less charismatic Owen Wilson. Um, hydrogen. Remote demand, local supply. And then little buddies will, um, take that over. But I need some more, I need some more shippies. That'll be fine. Eight. And then I can make three of those. That's a lot of crafting. Okay. So how's our hydrogen here? Like, this is... This is going okay. Do I... If I have enough of the uh, fuel things... Wouldn't it be smarter for me to just... Um, because I actually need this resource to make it happen. So it might be smarter for me if I have enough of those to just go ahead and cut this off and put it all towards what I actually need. can always do that later. So there we go. That may solve some of this backlog. Albeit, this is not really the problem. It's the friggin' potato chips. That's a, that's a lot of CPUs. Maybe I am okay on CPU production. What's backing me up now? Um, you don't have glass. I guess the word of the day is you can get even more hydrogen. These things need 12 hydrogen per. So, see, there's a bunch. That's good. So see, something that looks like what you'd actually find in a good build. It only took me, there's a timestamp here, only took me 33 hours <laughs> to figure out, hey, maybe I shouldn't screw around with my builds. So that's a lot of hydrogen coming through. But it is all getting used up. It is not getting backed up at all. Okay. So let's do the silicon thing. Maybe we do have enough CPUs, but I'd like to at least, if I'm going to have a backup, I might as well have a really big backup. Oh, nice, convenient, you're in the sky, right in front of me. Press space to space, don't run into the gas giants. Orbital mechanics are kind of a thing in this game, but it's not very punishing. Um, but yeah, my overall goal, like I said, I actually want to build a Dyson Sphere, and um, we're, we're working towards that. Got a minute to check this view. Right now it's a Dyson ring. It's a happy, happy little ring. So I'll go visit it in space again because our little rocket launches are making it make progress. But I need to get that research going. Yeah, it's it's literally, it's way too big. If I could do this again, I have not figured out how to undo this layer. I don't know if I can because early access is fun, but I make this about half the size. It's gonna take. It's gonna take so long. I honestly, honestly what I expect to do with this playthrough is just get it to where everything's automated and be like, woohoo, look, if I leave this game running for 100 hours, we will have a Dyson Sphere. And maybe start new, or maybe starting new just means going to another planet, but you can't exactly forget the text. All right. So we have titanium coming through. All these things are fine. You actually don't have a lot of... You don't actually have any logistics shuttles stationed here. That's bizarre. Alright. So I guess we're done making big shuttles. I really hope so. If I just screwed something up and have to fly from planet to planet again, that's going to be my kind of day. It already has been. Oh boy. I think I did. Alright. I wish there was a way I could just click and say how many of these do I have. Because the whole reason I came over here was to give some big shuttles to this. I guess the other reason was to um, get smelters. Yep, we, um, we fucked that up. Alright. Local supply, remote supply.
Once again, the game is the name of the game is what in the world am I doing? And the answer is who knows. Why, why, why are you like this? All right. Boop. Boop. Four smelters should be fine. How do I speed run Dyson Sphere program? Asking for a friend. Yeah, no, that's true. Um. Oh shit, that's not what I want. Uh, that. That is what I want. So the more of this production I can put off-world, the better. Like I said, I was originally planning on uh, having to make a certain specific kind of part. Oh my god, is our research actually moving? Nine minutes? Ten minutes? Nope. <laughs> the answer to that riddle is no. Okay, so we have some stuff trying to move. Oop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was nearly a big ass mistake. Um, remote supply, local demand. All right, so these guys can move it. Maybe I didn't screw that up too badly. Um, I just need the. It'd be really nice if I could do the hydrogen instead of dumping all the graphene in there. Because that is actually supplying graphene to some places, so... Annoying. Alright, so the hydrogen's what I really need, and that's the thing. Oh! I got one shuttle. Oh! We're building them now. Okay. I did not screw that up. I just didn't have a lot to build. All right, well, it'd be really nice if I could set the priority here, because I have a feeling, oh, it's going to be terrible. Bloop! I just lost a shit ton of hydrogen. Um, that that kind of breaks me a little bit, but... Mm. I think it does priority top to bottom. So that sucks, but just kind of got to live with it. We're going to do this the lazy way. Back when I thought that you had to store liquid hydrogen in boxes. Well, the important thing is that this is always going to be producing. Well, maybe. I love the stacking box capability, even though it's kind of wasted there. Alright, so we do need more logistics vessels. And we got a bunch of hydrogen. And that hydrogen is currently going nowhere. So remote supply, local supply, those are, those are all the right words. I think if we get more ships, there we go. So I didn't do the wrong thing. Can I build one more engine? No. I guess if I uh, tried to raid, I know I had some copper here at some point. Was I stupid and did I destroy it all? I think I might have. All right, that's good. That's good. Like, I had one giant-ass box of copper. And here's all my solar panels. This is how you'll notice any world I have has a big ring. Not always equatorial ring, but a big ring of uh, stuff here. Maybe, maybe we're not totally dead. All right. Can we, can we do this? Three's fine, and then I'll be able to build two more. Oh, thanks. Shift or control to move everything of one type to and from storage. 
yeah, that would be that would be a really good. Thanks, uh, Mawas, which I probably just mispronounced your name. I'm very sorry about that. But no, that's very good to know. I just want to know why this hydrogen isn't moving, and if it's because I don't have enough logistics vessels, which is totally understandable if that is the case. There we go. I really just want you to take take the hydrogen, please. Okay, now I gotta go, like, literally check in 30 seconds and make sure that, um... What am I missing? Oh, I haven't made those yet. So we can just sit here and jam out to the uh, good beats. Now each of these can only take 10, so 9's good enough. Maybe it doesn't think I need hydrogen? Clearly I do. Let's put 9 more in here just for fun. Um... Hey, now we get to do Asher searches his inventory for the things that were just built. And... I didn't actually build him yet. Alright, two. Yay! Oh good! They took it. They took the hydrogen away. Excellent. <sighs> yeah, no, that's me too. I was just telling Barrick earlier that um, sometimes my brain just completely blanks. Like, I got I got to a, a point on my main planet and was like, what the hell am I doing in this game? Is this like FTL? Am I supposed to be fighting the rebels? Alright, let's go, let's go visit our um, ring since maybe I can get a better screenshot of it if I don't... Um Go super fast. Also, you, um, Barrick, have you had a chance to see any of uh, the light speed travel stuff yet? Or Maus? I, how far are you in the game? Just curious. Okay, we're flying. We're looking for... Okay. Where is my damn ring? You'd think with a planetary ring we'd know by now. Like, you can literally see it from the- there it is. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. I got some really not good screenshots before, and I think I know what I need to do. Anyway, we'll do this. You know who's not gonna win a screenshot contest? It's me. All right, so we're flying up, and then as a matter of what the hell are physics anyway. Now, you know what? Let's let's fly a little higher. We're going up into space. Clearly, that's how space works. All right, all I want to do... Oh, green matrix. That's excellent. That's uh, where I kind of went into panic mode and was like, oh, crap. What do I do now? Alright, so this is nice. This is a lot better. Alright. Kind of got the backside of it, but... Sure is an improvement over uh, what I did before. Alright. Maybe I'll get something good out of that yet. Yeah, in space no one can tell if you're going up. <laughs> How do you turn your back to space? You lay on the ground. Okay, let's crash into the planet again. Oh, that's right. They patched it to where it tries to slow you down sometimes. Can we um, stop, please? Thank you. All right, so... Is our hydrogen going anywhere? We have a ton of... We have a ton of logistic ships. Trying their best. Okay, we have silicon coming in, finally! Okay. That's fantastic. Because you can see... I still have my level 1 belts. I actually need to... 
go pick up belts. There's so many things that I've figured out. And I know I've said this like 30 times tonight, but I'll just say it again. Next playthrough, so much that I'm fixing. Not just like wander the map through my... Like, you can see where I tried to make a bus at first and then just like stopped committing to it. It's like, I am one with the spaghetti. The spaghetti is one with me, but... Did finally automate producing upgraded uh, travel belts, so that's good. Um, I have a lot of shit in my inventory that I shouldn't have. Can I craft some of these? Of course I can't. Can I craft some of these? Of course I can't. Can I craft some of those? Of course I can't. And I don't even think I can handcraft those. Yep. Alright, so... It all, it all kind of makes sense. Yeah, no, they, uh, trust me, it was really easy to overshoot planets before. Oh my god. We have, we have all the hydrogen we'd ever need. We're actually short on graphene now. That's amazing. Oh hell. I can do that. I can do that in a friggin' heartbeat. I will spaghetti the shit out of this. Who's ready to uh, send some of this shit halfway across the planet? Now, we have all this stuff here. This is supposed to be supplying this area, right? Maybe? Where are we falling short? Oh. See, this is fun. It's like, I don't know where my shit's going. Okay. So this is going over here. If this is going to nowhere, it's going to be hilarious. Okay, this is important. Oh, yes. Okay. We're in business. And I actually stayed a little responsible. Um, how dumb am I feeling? Pretty dumb, it turns out. Um, let's see. Can't go that tall yet. Yeah, because I have... That's a really good idea. I should I should do that in the future. Um, my problem is that I have no rhyme or reason for where I place the logistics drones too, so everything is just everything is uh, hopeful. Oh shit! Can't do that. Can I just go under some of these? That'd be nice. Okay, uh, can't go that low. And where's our graphene line? See, it it, it tries it tries so hard to automatically attach. But yeah, this is great. Cuz now we can just do this. And this is our faster belt. And look at the shit go. And now it's gonna go really slow. And it's gonna do a stupid circle for no reason. Cause it's fun. All right. I really wish I could clean that up. Let's clean it up. Let's, if we're gonna, if we're gonna go for, uh, we don't need like our little debutante circle for the graphene. But man, look at that shit move. All right, now it's, it's like half this game, two thirds of this game, three quarters, five eighths, six sixteenths of this game is just figuring out where is my logistics nightmare today. All right. Can we just drop you down here, please? No, apparently I can't. Now we can. So we're backed up over here. Wow, what was I thinking? <laughs> I don't I don't even know what direction that's going. I guess it's making the solar sails for um, the little rockety ships. 
rockety ships. That's that's our future talk right here. Um, okay, have we have we solved it? Like we've got all this spare graphene because I have I lucked into fire ice on that planet. Good. Okay, graphene should never be the shortfall. How how is this doing? Um Excuse me? Oh no, don't tell me I got early access again. I will I will show you what I'm talking about in the map in just a second, but I might have gotten early access again. Um okay, so there's 16 something on the way. But I have some concerns about how that is on the way. Because if you've paid any attention to, uh... Okay, where are my space warpers? There we are. Alright, we're gonna go visit one of those planets just to get some of our own stuff here. And I know it's not the most efficient trip because my inventory is full of garbage. But whatever. You know what, let's uh... Let's try to be responsible. If I can just remember... I dropped all the stuff that I'm not using by the happy little research area. Should probably keep those in my inventory. Should probably keep those. Should not keep those. Should have dropped those on the belt. Uh, we'll keep our road snacks. Titanium glass. Can I just sell some of this stuff to a vendor? And just delete the refined oil. Oh, we have more hydrogen. Nice. Okay. This is going to be a more worthwhile trip. Okay. Let's do some interplanetary travel. Because we're, we're a ways in now. Um, how's our sphere doing, by the way? There's, it's trying its best. I'm probably going to need like 30 more launch stations, but I need to reliably get three of them first. Look, we're, we're getting our nodes. It's, it's trying. We got 90.7 megawatts now. A lot of that's coming from our Dyson Swarm, though. Alright, so we're flying. There's our uh, happy little space thing. It's looking more and it's starting to take shape. That's really cool. Anyway, if we zoom out. Oh no, it happened again. Alright. What happens sometimes? in the early access, I'm sure this will get patched sometimes after uh, the Chinese New Year, is that your vessels decide, you know what, we're going to get something from another planet, but we are not actually going to go at light speed to do it. You can travel to any of these planets manually. You can go up to 2,000 meters per second. None of this is scaled to like any realistic distance, if you haven't been able to tell that yet. But you can manually fly to other planets if you want to. It's not advisable. But I have had to wait for some of those supplies to happen before, so let's see if we've run out of stuff here. Caps lock to go to space, and we're warping. This is where the uh, patch to make you not turn into a meteorite is really nice because it actually slows you down when you get close. And I just recently got a uh, reactor upgrade that does let this, as the autosave always screws with my count for paying attention anyway, but very recently they patched it to where it should slow you down when you get closer so that you don't miss stars which is really nice because originally be like okay let me just hit caps lock to stop warping and hope for the best see it's it's slowing down 25 24 we're still losing energy like i have a huge energy reserve but i'm not able to regenerate it very well so 50 45 40 36 32 29 26 23 21 19 18 16 15 13 12 oh there's all the fucking planets can't see a thing but it's nice it's like bloop now we can stop a lot closer so anyway this is a um this is a pretty cool system it's got, a, it's got a lot going on. I'll visit that planet in a minute because I haven't actually shown that uh, on camera at all. Um, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've shown this very much either. So here we are. Uh, my optic crystal place that I've raided so many times. It only has one job. Okay, that's not where I want to go. I do like that these stars do get marked, but I did get some advice in a YouTube comment before of you can actually flag this on or off. But if you turn off space navigation, 
none of the stars are labeled it's on by default so one of the things that's really interesting uh, let me actually give the example over here one of the things that's really interesting is that your stars are unlabeled until you visit them i think that's a cool if a little weird where's my damn planet okay it's about to say it's orbiting a gas giant and it's actually a really cool looking gas giant very much a jupiter analog as opposed to where i'm orbiting a saturn analog I don't think I've seen planets with rings yet, though. They may exist. But yeah, there's some there's some funky stars. If there's something you guys are interested in visiting, it's fine, because right now, um, my research is creeping along. I'm gonna be playing at least until I get through there. Bedtime be damned. Because part of the goal is to speed up this research, and considering Last night when I was playing, it said I had four hours to six hours before research would complete. I will, I will take this progress. As incremental and chunky as it is, and weirdly, I do not get my your research is too slow um, warning anymore. It's slow, but it's not too slow. All right, so Shadir. Whoop. Now one thing that's really nice about this planet is that it has water right there. But let's see, did they do- yep, they did the thing. So one thing I'm going to have to do is babysit this. Because it only holds 50. But now my uh, supplier of crack crystals are all stupidly flying at um, normal speeds. So it's going to be a while. So I'm going to have to take all this shit and make a few runs back and forth to get research going. So it's probably all the more important that I get stuff here. And the reason I'm using this rare resource instead of stuff that's available on planet is that to make this normally you need to get um, diamonds. And I do have a planet with um, that has organic crystals so diamonds are a little easier to come by, but they're my big roadblock in yellow research. So I thought, hey, this would be good as long as my morons don't run out of these. It'd be really nice if they just stopped doing it, but now they're trying their best and I'm not going to be getting another shipment for a stupidly long time. All those little purple blobs. That's, that's those dumbasses. Okay. So since I need to, um re-energize anyway which planet did I want to look at again oh not that button it was mm, two yeah this one's neat it's also on the other side of the star so we'll just uh, do a gravity assist it's not very effective but it is nice in the game that the closer you get to the star um, it will actually speed you up it's not all like Kerbal Space Program where you can actually do maneuvers based off of gravity and like get yourself into orbit you otherwise couldn't get into. And this music's also very Kerbal Space Program. Also, the name uh, Dyson Sphere Program is very Kerbal Space Program, but imitations and spheres form a flattery. And uh, thank you, stupid publisher that caused a bunch of drama and uh, destroyed Kerbal Space Programs. Release date for last year. This year, there is a very bright star. Enjoy that. We're going higher than max speed, but you see, we're going to lose that assist. If we were flying in space normally, we'd be maintaining that speed. But you know what? We're also crashing into planets without creating craters, so it's a game. Woo! All right, anyway, this place looks cool. I just like it. It's terrible for resources, other than it has organic crystals, which actually seems like a decent thing to try and um, get out of here. And it has a lot of silicon. It has no titanium, which is a little, which is a little sad. Um, the other thing that's really interesting that it doesn't have is life. It has plants everywhere. I'm sure there'll be uh, lots of critters and stuff introduced later. Yeah, we got silicon all over the place. We got oil, so wow, 4.5 per second. That's an amazing amount of oil. So clearly there's a lot of dead dinosaurs and what have you in the um, in the soil. 
But yeah, um, it's going to take me a little while to actually regenerate my core energy, so... Since we have one planet being stupid, I probably should babysit my other planet. But we have lots of different kinds of stars, like Neutron Star. It's cool, they do rotate that fast. I can't say for sure they look like that, but I should not have hit M. Um, but yeah, lots of stars in the star family are represented. Like, there's blue or main sequence stars. Um, let me see if I can find an O type star. B type, B type, O type. These are like other stars, just bigger. There is a tech that'll let me see this uh, from far away, but it also requires green tech, and I would rather do something different. But you can see it's 53 M's for mass, whatever mass unit is, versus the B type, which is 6 versus our home planet star, a G-type star, which is 0.9. So I'm not exactly sure. It's it's nice that they have these star stats, but you can get a star trading card. But like this white dwarf here, white dwarfs, as you probably know, are the remnants of a star that goes supernova but doesn't totally eject everything and doesn't collapse into a black hole. It's kind of just a failure at the, at the end of life. And uh, we do have a black hole in the system. I did decide to do a little spoilerly visit just for fun. It does not look like that in game at all. Um, but yeah, I think we've recharged sufficiently to babysit the other planet. So, Adventures in Robot Babysitting, starring something that definitely looks like Bumblebee. Alright, do I have enough energy to make this hop? I don't know if I do, but that's part of the fun. I do have enough little warp things. You always, you always, always, always want to make sure that you have enough but yeah, what it used to do is that it would start you right at sales speed of 12.5 uh, AUs, and now it ramps you up a little bit. So I guess in case you accidentally hit caps lock, you're not totally screwed. But I'm very interested to see in this game as it progresses. I'd, I'd love to see them make traveling between planets more important early in the game, because it is something that's kind of reserved for an endgame activity, and don't get me wrong, it's really cool to have the possibilities of being able to, um, yeah, we're pretty close here. It's, it's pretty cool to have the possibility of, like, settling other planets and stuff and building multiple Dyson spheres. That's all really good. We're just going to drain our battery here. Um, but yeah, Epsilon Artesis, which was the first planet I went to, um, it's actually pretty good, and um, we're still mining out organic crystal, so maybe there's hope that my... My people have not dumbassed it too much. Also has an ice giant that has collectible fire ice from the atmosphere and a uh, that thing with fractal silicon, which is not great. There's there's my dumb morons trying their best through here. But if we look at this one, see, I like that they have little, um, ooh, I'm gonna miss it. Um, it has a reverse rotation, so that's nice. They have like little features like that, but here's Happy Little Plains Planet. I've been playing some Shadow Empire lately. This is something I want to stream eventually uh, once I kind of get through a game and kind of get the hang of it. But uh, I just see these planes and I'm like, okay, where's the giant worm or other herbivore that's just going to eat and destroy me? Okay, I don't need this stuff today. Well, I'm not picking up any organic crystal anyway because I'm, I'm fine on that. I'm just babysitting and making sure we're not out of warpers, and we're not. So, fortunately, these are really easy to craft once you unlock green research. So we're back up to 50. So I now know I have to babysit these. That is good knowledge to have, albeit a painful lesson. Oh, now one thing that'd be really nice... Whoa, demolition mode. Don't want that. Um, one thing that'd be really nice is if I had built like a um, thing like this. I don't think I can. I'm missing glass can I do that? I'm missing magnets? Alright, screw that. We're gonna, um... There's stone around here, right? There's somewhere... There's crude oil, crude oil. Everything's crude oil. Coal, crude oil, silicon. Oh, this is literally the worst. I was hoping to have something near my power stations. There's iron... Oh, this is all too spread out. I was hoping to maybe BS and build something here, but we're not going to BS. Not today. 
because there is a, a little power station. I can't pull it up now, but what it will do is it'll let you charge yourself on the grid, and that would probably be really helpful. So I should set up some of those back at home. But if we look at our tech tree real quick, wow, it says within five minutes. So clearly we're doing something right because it's never gone down to five minutes before. Yes, it does drop off like that. I think it's shy. It doesn't like me looking at it. But if you want to see how big the tech tree is, it's pretty sizable. But I'm spamming a repeatable tech because every time I complete this, it gives me 15% latitude limit for the Dyson Sphere. Now there's some other stuff that's pretty important, I guess like allows your ray receiver to get gravitons um, and then that's that's the stuff that's involved in here which you eventually need to unlock white research and then you complete your mission when you do some of that and you can also build an artificial star which that's never gone badly and make an actual I think that's a really big fuel cell no that uses a really big fuel cell now that is a fuel cell. Cool. I should know what I'm talking about by now. But there's so many upgrades here, like Universe Exploration 4. I really want to unlock that. But my priority is making a Dyson Sphere. Mecha Core 6, probably don't want that as much as the actual increasing my energy recharge rate. But once again, um, it's got to research that thing. Now there is um, one thing that's really cool is some of these researches down here, like logistics carriers. Yeah, you can increase their speed, which is nice. Increase their speed. Um, I thought this one was re repeatable. Did they patch that out? Anyway, it's... Um, no, I think that infinite sign does mean it's repeatable, but I guess I'll have to unlock it and see. Like, my understanding is that you'll be able to research those things again, but maybe not. I mean, this one has a finite amount of times you can repeat it, but we sh I don't know if we have enough. Oh, well, let's do it anyway. Also, it helped if I actually point it where I'm trying to go. It is possible if you just hit caps lock and you go the wrong way, you will just fly off into the void and it will stop you when um, you're out of energy. And then you get to hope that you brought food. I'll eat my food in just a minute. Technically, I'm probably close enough to fly, but it'll be be pretty damn annoying to fly. So let's get back on track. Can I park my butt in the middle of this Dyson Sphere? I've done it once off camera. Can I do it again? Boop, there we go. Nailed it. So it's it's turning into a ring slowly, very slowly. But it's, tr it's trying its best. And for a solitary robot that's being sent by a bunch of uh, people that downloaded their consciousnesses into a computer and is asking me to do all the dirty work, which is actually the story of this game, I'll take that. Okay, I'm not actually getting pulled into the star's gravity, right? No. But hopefully I can get some more green research. But like I said, it's it's cool. We're making progress. Flying super slow, so let's um let's try this one more time. Just nice and very relaxed. That's the picture I wanted. That's all I wanted. There we go. Excellent. Work in progress. Alright. Great things from humble beginnings. Wow, that's actually a really good view of that, too. Sorry. Oh, that's right. I should, I should, I would be doing you an injustice, Barrick, if you don't see this. If I haven't already shown this. But anyway, we have a, uh, how are we populating the Dyson Swarm? As we can see Homeworld over there, which is pretty cool, but here's my guns. And um, we're just in time for a shipment of uh, solar sails. As you see, we're getting demanding those. So they literally just get fed around the platform. There should be a lot coming in. And uh, yeah, 
the home stars are firing range. Good use for a uh, close orbit. That's a that's a lot of solar sails. So every little one of those pinpoints up there, which is modeled in the game, which is not just pixels, which is super cool, all getting shot up. Yeah, like I said, I imagine these will be used for like point defense and stuff later because there are supposed to be enemies and monsters thrown into the game. But for now, I'm just attacking a star, which means technically you can build a Dyson sphere around a black hole. That's that's nice too. Feeling very picturey all of a sudden. It's like I learned I can get rid of all the stuff. Can we fly, please? Thank you. Uh, I learned I can get rid of the UI, and suddenly I'm like, ooh, pictures everywhere! Okay, can we get out of the gravity? There we go. Um, cool, so all that time and just lollygagging just to delay my research. I think it was worth it. Ha! Ah. Oh, we've splashed down. And this is this is what I started the stream with, making a bunch of oil production. Like I said before, there is oh, I need to I need to do my homework and actually turn this shit in, don't I? Which means I probably shouldn't be going from this direction, I should be going the other direction. But my whole planet's just a Oh, I did the right thing. My whole planet is literally a mess. And um I think I think somebody's getting fired. Because they didn't do their damn job with this. But I'm pretty sure if I do some dedicated back and forth, I can outpace this. What I want to know is, having this much on the line, does it stress my system out? And I am going to do what I did before and just give my logistics a small little nip. It's literally a vasectomy that just stops this production here and sends all of my stuff around. You were expecting me to throw that word out for this, but here we are. So, how's my production going? So, we're getting all these crystals in, which is good. We're not out of graphene, which is good. It does suck that I lost out on some supply ships, but absolutely nothing I can do about it now. If I have a bunch of stone there... Okay, it's it's supplying class, so that's fine. So, it looks like our hydrogen problems are solved. I still think I may be low on computer chips, but the... I just have such a gigantic line of these right now. Like, that seems fine. So if we follow all these over... This is, this is where they're gonna end up. Now the nice thing about this is that it does make two. So I have none in transit right now, and I'm going to get a bunch in transit in just a little bit. I don't know if that was just a recent patch change where they made it go from one to two, but look at that. All those resources, and this is how slow this stuff is pumping out. Like, maybe I could build another production facility. I don't know, man, because I've already doubled the size of this. But, like, a lot of these aren't aren't getting the resources they need cuz this assembly this assembly is just it takes a while but still proof and concept that's a plus what did i say i was going to do we're going to see if a uh, if some charging stations can work which means i need glass we have glass can i build you yet Looks like we need magnets. Always magnets. I guess I should just have a little place that has magnets sitting around. How many of you can I build now? Six. That's fine. I want to see if this will charge me faster. Because I, I built one of these on accident, and now I'd like to kind of do it on purpose. 
but this does mean it does stop my uh, actual Dyson Sphere production for now, which you can see from all the streaming I've done, I have gone up. Oh, well. We, I mean, we have a little bit of a ring. Like, I'm not, I'm not going full rockets yet. It may just be that I have to pump even more resources in. Maybe. How many of these do I have? I still have a lot of those. So I think a few trips, planet side to planet side, will be good. All right, power time. Can you tell that somebody finally figured out how to pave things? And that's another thing. Next time I play, I am uh, getting rid of all this water. Like, screw it, I'm a robot. You don't need no water, so... How, how fast does this charge me? Okay, that's 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 pretty that's pretty okay. But can it can we double the charge? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's making any difference. Consumption demand, consumption demand. So 29 Well, like, stacking them does have an effect. Yeah, stacking definitely has an effect. That is some good sciencing right there. So I'll definitely want to put another one of these little charge stations um, on another planet. All right, cool. So, how's my research going now? It's um, it's gonna stop. Yep, every time. Right as rain. So we have none of these in storage. All of these in storage, a bunch of these on the way. And we're actually maxed out, we're over maxed on hydrogen, that's, that's very impressive. And not just over maxed on hydrogen, are we, um, are we even sending the hydrogen to where it needs to go? your diamonds just a whole just a whole line of diamonds NBD okay where do we where do we do our hydrogen to yeah that's amazing we went from a uh, no hydrogen to all the hydrogen Which means if I wanted to build some more glass things, maybe I could. I mean, I got some room to expand. Like right now, the limiting factor... I guess technically now that, um... As long as these can eat crystals, I could probably build another one. Huh. Let's try it, why not? doing this right. Alright. 
just recently learned that uh, I can actually drop things on the belt. And we're still uh, short a few crystals. So let's make it rain real quick. And who's ready for some click spam? I am! Cool, thank you. Alright. So eventually we do we do run out, but yeah, I'm not stressed on hydrogen anymore. Like the ideal thing is that I don't want these splitters passing it out if I can avoid it. We'll even put a third one in there. What I want is them to be beelining out of there super fast. You know, I like this idea. Let's do one more. I'm pretty sure I have the logistics for it. Screw the rocket launch pad for now, we'll fix that later. Priority number one is getting this shit. Ooh, shit. Shit. I don't make that mistake as much as you might think I would. And what are we missing? Um, so we're actually missing crystals now. All right, let's just dump some of these in here. And let me actually watch how it works this time. Testing logistics is fundamental. All right, so we got that. Fix our sad little space program while we can. Maybe. Let's make it really weird. Because I may end up moving this even further. Alright, so one more drop test. Can actually move this window around. Good to know, so... It's about how fast it'll drop when it comes out of the conveyor belt eventually. Okay, that does go all the way up there. Excellent. Can cue the Bill and Ted music anytime. However, we are out now, so that's a problem. Alright. But you can see, look at this, this slow trickle is turning into a slightly less slow trickle. And you can, oh, that's big. Oh, that's so important. So these, all these stacked research facilities will just keep making this. So I am about to knock the wall out here. Like I'm actually, I'm actually researching now. That's so exciting. You maybe have an idea. Like for so long, it was literally just this one that was lit up. So let's do it again. All right. All right. Where's our where's our happy little optic crystal star? There it is. And we're going to drop a charging station. Cuz that seems good and one of the more fun things here. I want you to look out for something while we fly. 
Wait, did they? Did those morons? Nope. There they all are. That's like so many crystals. I want you to look out for them because you will be able to see them while we're flying in light speed. So we can uh, save our good words for them. Boop. And... I'm just turning the camera. I'm not turning my body. I just want to see if I can get a better view. There's the autosave. It always likes to autosave. Yep, there's... There they are. Morons part one. Morons part two. So it's probably going to be another few in-game hours before they get there. Yep, there's, there's some more. So, feels good. We're actually going to knock out the first set of research. And then I can show at the very end of this stream here um, what planning your Dyson Sphere looks like. Which was kind of my goal, but a little bit of a pipe dream and bleep! Uh, did we ever shoot it? No, we didn't. Didn't do great, but... Shift to speed up. I love the number of people that I've read online that said they didn't realize shift would speed you up. Not because it's uh, a problem, because it's an easy like one-time tooltip to miss and not everybody looks at the options menu there. It's that people like this game so much that they played it for hours just flying 300 meters per second at a glacial space, at a glacial pace going through space. So that's that's kind of testament to what this game is and how good it is even so far. How are we doing on the tech? Two minutes, three minutes, six minutes, stop. As is tradition. The secret to learning a tech is not to pay attention to it. Bloop. Is this where I want to go? Um, yes, but I'm on the wrong side of the planet. Where's my, where's my damn tower? Nice thing is that it's so tall that the map on the bottom left, you can see what's picking up. That's a really useful feature. Oh god, that looks so good. Just just saying, this. I, I agree with what someone else said. A game like this has no business looking this good, and yet it does. Alright, what's our power consumption like on this planet? Pfft, non-existent. Alright. Let's, let's change that ever so slightly, so... Bleep! Bleep, make our little power triangle. Ah. Look at that. That good old 14 megawatt charging. Does this have an... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Just the power graph is just... That's such a power spike, but... Uh, one thing that'll definitely change as the game goes on is... Um, so we're gonna see here that drops back down. That was literally all me. Um, one thing that will definitely change as the game goes on is that solar panels will not be nearly as strong as they are right now. I'm sh I'm sure there'll be something like wild animals will kill it or they'll degrade or something. Just there's a, there's a lot of options for how to balance it, but it does need balance because right now it's a easy alternative to getting power from the Dyson Swarm, which is where the game seems to be trying to point people. Yeah, my research isn't going to happen while I'm out of crystals, so I definitely need to fix this. And look, they still have 50 space warpers because they are morons and did not think, you know, let me just let me just think about and call in from home, call in home and say, hey, um, I can't, I can't make this flight. All right, so good enough. Maybe I'm just a sucker for this kind of game. I can think of worse things. Like, um, am I about to fly into a gas giant? Not today. All right. I know it's a little silly that I got the core upgrade before. Starting to do my Dyson research, and I did that because I didn't realize this was on the tech tree. I thought, oh, once I do vertical launching, I can just start building my sphere. But no, the game's like, you think you're done, but you're not. 
and yet I still feel compelled to keep playing. Granted, I got frustrated as hell that day and put it down, but... Wait, is our research moving again? <gasps> it's moving again, don't look. So the ebb and flow from that is going to be strictly from the transport vessels that are... Oh, we, oh, speaking of transport vessels, look at those morons. Hey, you'd think somebody figured out light speed travel. So here's us slowing down. I might be home in time for uh, research to complete. Ooh. I kind of panic pushed it. I could have pushed that a little further. Still though. Oh, it's actually out of batteries. <laughs> Shit. Oh well, let's uh, go at regular speed. Like I said, it's it's so pretty. And I was even flying, it's so pretty I was flying towards the wrong planet. Maybe I was flying towards the right planet. Alright. But yeah. I'm going to say this again, and I, I've mentioned it a few times before. Um, because Distant Worlds 2 is um, just kind of showed up on the Steam page. It's a game I've been following for a while, and if you watched my YouTube channel before, you may remember me playing Distant Worlds Universe, which is an excellent game. But uh, one thing that these logistics vessels really remind me of is uh, the private industry from Distant Worlds Universe because you'll build like your little mining station and then the CPU controls the little mining vessels that go around and mine stuff. It's just... I have a little ecosystem working like there's solar sails that are being delivered to my uh, death rays that are just constantly shooting but they're going to change their aim here. That Dyson Swarm it's not long for this world. And if you notice, I did have to repoint where I was flying because it moves. All right. So I definitely need a recharge. Fortunately, flying does not take power. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to get the research in. It's actually going to complete. I, I was not expecting... I, I was losing hope. Ooh, this is... This is not the way I should pay attention to my map. All right. Oh, it stopped. How close did it stop? It was right there. Oh, apparently you can't travel and hold that. Anyway, these are ray receivers. They uh, pick up power from the swarm, but now we have uh, latitude increase. I'm going to hop on that, but I absolutely need to... Um, drop the kitties off at the pool as it were because I failed at logistics and so can you which means I have to navigate my base and figure out where the hell I'm going because we've got one happy little box here now if there is a way to actually drop this stuff off in here nope that is, that is definitely not what I want um, huh, interesting that it makes me charge everything um, if there's a way to drop that off, I'd love to know, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. And here comes our research. Part two. But that's really exciting. So, almost filled up a box. I'm gonna need to do some interplanetary runs. I will do that later, because now we can start to, uh... Oh, look! We're doing repeated research, 15 more degrees, kind of holding steady at 37 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 74 minutes, still not the worst. But if we go to this, we go to shell one, I have unlocked the ability to do things here. So this is what your node stuff looks like. You can see the game's still running. I can actually press the stop stop running the game and I think I'm gonna do that uh, just because I do have finite resources that are gonna run out so the first thing you need to do is build nodes now what I could do is like try to go up here go up here and do these squares at a time but I'm feeling a little spicy we're gonna um, I'm gonna make our Dyson sphere pretty and full of diamonds so what you do is there's these different buttons you can do it to kind of follow along and like 
I'm not sure exactly how it works if this is like a straight I'm guessing this is a straight line and this might be oh god gotta hit a node and that's kind of curving maybe we're gonna do um, we're gonna do this why the hell not but anyway what's gonna happen is we are gonna be able to fill these in now it's really fun is that we have these this support trust technically we don't we're not gonna need it later but whatever we have it now but it's gonna be the same thing here and here so you can see this this is a this is a way too big Dyson sphere I think some of the timestamps I've seen for people having their sphere complete was like 144 hours so I'm not going to commit that hard to the save. I mean, I'd love I'd love to see it, but just just the knowledge that it will eventually be done may be enough. Oh good, I'm not going to get screwed. All right, so I once again wondered if the flat line's going to do anything or not. Let's try like over here. Can I remove this? Ooh, I can. I don't know if I want to, but I can. I kind of like the idea of having a little ring in the middle. So, looks like the straight line isn't super different right now because it's all fitting on a sphere. Huh. I guess if I was doing like this kind of design, which I'm not because I panicked when I had just a tiny little ring to work with. But anyway, we're going to um, walk and talk at the same time. So once again, we're just going to make happy little things. And it's very important. I've seen a lot of people ask this. you got to actually plan to put the shell in there. But once I get this next degree, it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to do triangle frames up there. So it's going to look like a really awkward Christmas present. Oop, not that. There we go. Let's see, the game's, the game's trying to be like, do you want to just autofill and keep going? Because that makes a lot of sense. But I don't. Let's see, we have, we have our main ring that's holding all this together, so it works. But I think doing it like this is more interesting than just having a bunch of squares because they're diamonds. Sometimes in space they'll look like squares anyway. But what's going to start happening now is that the uh, space rail guns are going to start shooting and trying to fill in these. So fill it in, fill it in. Cool. There we go. That would actually be a uh, really crazy thing. There's no save button or anything. It's just literally this is what's happening. Oh, there's an inspect button. Oh. It doesn't, I don't know where the information is, but apparently it's there. Maybe somebody knows a lot more than me, but it's, it's going to take a lot. So now structure points, it's at 9,000. It's not over 9,000. Whew. So I guess one of the questions is, are any of these other researches going to help me go faster?
But I think what I'm going to do here, um, because I'm going to have to call this a stream pretty soon, I am going to go ahead and restart my rocket launches. Because I really wanted to get like that first set of research done, and now we're kind of going at a good pace here. Is there anything any of y'all want to see that's like out here in space before I call it? Because I don't mind like traveling out somewhere and just shooting the shit. Like these guys, these guys are just hanging out. I gotta pass time before they make it. I mean, I could fly to a black hole. Actually, I haven't been to a neutron star. That could be interesting. Speak now if you want to see. I actually just had, saw some people duck out when I said I'm going to be ending soon, so that's cool. Thank you for dropping in, by the way. For those of you who stuck around or just popped in very briefly, thank you for watching. If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you have chatted in here today, thank you. It is helpful. Like I said, it's a, uh, it's a distressing time right now, so sometimes it's nice just to have little things that we can fire off in the space. Don't I have some of these rockets in my inventory? Or did I already? Oh, I have six. Cool, let's do it. Let's set off some fireworks. If I can remember what button's my inventory. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Oh, I just picked one up. Get over there. Just want to start this video as we end it by, um... Launching shit in the space. Like I said, that tiny little cube turned into that. We don't care about conservation of mass. Which I guess makes sense, because I can build planetary towers all over the place. But eventually, you know, I may need to actually double this production. And if I do, that's fine. It's just funny. We really did not have a CPU shortage. I'm shocked. I guess it was just the other stuff. But yeah, let me drop a save because when I'm um, resume, when I'm going to resume this, it's going to be to fly to the planet and um, get everything that I need. But, you know what? Screw it. Uh, oh my god, I missed a follow. And I just now realized it. So... Oh my gosh, it's already happening. That's amazing. Let's go take a look. Do you see what's different? They're now starting to fill the shell. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bad I'm a bad streamer, we know this. But yeah, so these little blue things are actually parts of the Dyson swarm that are now being shot by my railguns to fill in the Dyson shell. That's so cool. Now we got lots of other shit to do too, but we're in the end game now. For real. I wasn't just lying about the stream title. But yeah, look at this. All right, so let's hit a neutron star in the face. That seems fun. So we're gonna have to manually navigate this first time around. That's a black hole. White dwarf would be interesting. It's just gonna be tiny. Those are my stupid people. There it is. You can tell because it's even pulsing up there. So we're going to look at this kind of... There's a red giant over here. It's going to be up above these places. So it all corresponds. So if we go up from here... Are we pointing to it yet? Ha! Check it out. Look at how dim that is. Just just like it should be. Which is just fascinating because you can see them flash from time to time. They haven't put that in the game, but 
it's you're not going to be able to see a neutron star with a naked eye. It's just they're called pulsars because they literally pulse a bunch of electri or a bunch of electromagnetic radiation out of uh, cracks and they're spinning super fast. There's just so much interesting science about it. But because it is a really long distance, I am going to have to probably park. I have 10 warp sails left. Need to refuel on Doritos. I don't know what you call those, but... Alright. You know, maybe we got it. Like, I have a lot of... I have a lot of energy. So we're, we're just... Oh, I need to... I need to stay pointed on my place here. Okay. So I'm flying towards it, but I can't target it now. So we're going to trust our target distance. There we go. Universe is rotating just ever so slowly, so we need to adjust for that as well. Yo, I actually had enough fuel to make it all the way out here. That's amazing. Okay, now, is there any planets around a pulsar? If this were star sector, there absolutely could be. Oh, we're going to run out of gas. All right. That's still exciting. So there's Icarus. And we have a planet ice field. Ooh, it has unipolar magnets, too. That's an incredibly rare resource. But I'm not really interested in... Uh, seeing this today. I want to fly towards the uh, actual pulsar. Which right now it's really interesting how bright that is versus how bright that is. By the way, while we're here, because I can totally see within six uh, light years resources on other stars. Like three light years away, it just has sulfuric acid. We can't tell what planets, it's just signal. Now, granted, I don't have a good source of sulfuric acid nearby, so it's not part of a balanced breakfast. Um, five light years. See, fire, ice, which we already have. I think I already looked at that one. Um, ooh. More great optical crystals. Yeah, it'll be nice to unlock that tech that lets me see everything. Oh, Beta Pisces, whatever that means. You can still see how stupid those guys are from so far away. That's great. Um, cool. Anyway, let's finish this with a bang. So, I'm going to assume for a second that 24 is the star. But it might not be. Yeah. So NTR24 and NTR24I. It seems like a robot named these planets after a um, monitor. All right, maybe I shouldn't go so fast into a pulsar, but you can't die in this game anyway. So it's just interesting how different the quality of the light looks compared to other places. So we're getting there. I'm curious if there's a white dwarf nearby that's convenient, but I don't think there is. And this is all randomly generated when you make your game. Yeah. Um, that white dwarf is not convenient at all. Okay, so we're going to settle for this to cap it because it's, uh, it's late for me, but I'm pissed enough. It's fine. As you can see, the research has stopped. Like, I didn't babysit it, and now it's um, it's a little bit of time away, but it's going to take even longer to actually build the sails, so now I can not concern myself so much without pacing it. Oh, look at that. You can see the spin. Normally, Icarus would be fried to a crisp by now. 
just uh, saying, because these let out a bunch of electromagnetic energy. But unlike the black hole, this actually looks like what it looks like in the preview picture. Whoa! We just got to bounce off it. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One more time. That's fun. All right. See if I can get once more with feeling. Like, we shedded a bunch of speed, but technically that's because we died. Oh, thank you so much for the raid. I just hate that it's going to be at the very end here, but... Yep, there's Pulsar. We can't right-click to mine it, but it's there. Ooh, it's hurting my eyes a little bit. But yeah, that's, a, that's as fun of a way as any to end this. Space things wouldn't necessarily be so loud, but uh, Spartan Blue, hey, thanks, hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, this I have a really nice long VOD session here, and we have the beginnings of a Dyson Sphere. Oh, it's saying, do you want to build a Dyson Sphere here? Okay, yeah, we're not. But if we look back home, let's let's get away from the sound because that's a little bassy. Oh, cool! Hey, yeah, that's from a long time ago. I'm really sad about Kerbal Space Program Two not coming out yet, but uh, glad to see you remembered me. So, hey, cool, nice. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, we can't see the Dyson Sphere that's here. Yeah, it was a long time ago. So much has changed, and yet so much is not. But anyway, so we've seen that. Let's just load up since I just since I just got a raid. That's the right time, right? Yeah, that's the that's the embarrassingly late time. All right. But anyway, we're we're back charging. Show this one more time. Just follow the rocket into the sun. But yeah. We're actually uh Officially building an argyle sweater. That's technically not argyle, but we're we're building some, we're building something with pretty little patterns. And uh, now our rail guns are shooting at that. So this is as good of a place as any to stop. Taking so many screenshots today. Oh God, pre-COVID. There's so much to say about that, but instead I'm just gonna say. Thanks for all y'all. It's so awesome to see people come in. And of course it's like, uh, yes, yes, I, I very much recommend it. I will be honest with you. Um, I don't, I don't have a good track record of playing through Steam backlogs, but I literally saw someone play this for about two minutes and I was like, sold. Yes, this is what I want. I never really got into Factorio very much. Haven't played Satisfactory. So this is all like good shit, new shit. But it's a, it's hard to imagine that it's an early access and there's even more stuff that's going to be going on with it. But there we have it. So thanks for watching. I'm still am putting this up and other stuff on YouTube. So if you want to check that out, check that out. Um, but yeah, uh, Spartan, Barrick, um, Mawas, if you're still here. Thanks to the raid, uh, Raquel Clavin. I missed that out. We're just going to fly into the star here because we did it with a neutron star. Why not that too? But I am going to just burn myself to a crisp and call it a stream. I don't know if I have anyone that is reasonably ridiculously online right now. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just give it a buzz. Technically, the sun's gravity would be pulling us in at much higher speed. But game safety says we get a slowdown, so that's fine. Um, yeah. No, that's me. I don't go by way to fail self anymore because I got tired of uh, calling myself failure. But it's cool. I will still answer to it. Anybody that I'm following. Hell no. No one ke no one keeps my stupid hours. All right. Well, 
me get away from the sunlight here. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. This is Asher. Formerly way to fail self, we're in space, everything's fine, nothing's not on fire. We'll do this again sometime, but for now I'm way overdue for sleep. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll do this again another day. Take care.